Good morning beautiful people all over the world, welcome back again here in my YouTube channel, Maverick Cruise Vlog. History of Capiz Province of Capiz is a province in the Philippines located in the central section of western Visayas region. Its capital is the city of Rojas. It is located at the northeastern portion of Panay Island, bordering Aklan to the north, Antique to the west, and Iloilo to the south. Capiz faces the Cebuyan Sea to the north. Capiz is known for the Placuna Placenta oyster shell that has the same name locally and is used for decoration and making lampshades, trays, window and doors. Likewise, the province is known as the seafood capital of the Philippines, and was among the top 15 most frequently visited places in the Philippines, Capiz is the site of the famous Coral Stone Santa Monica Church in the town of Panay, home to the largest Catholic church bell in Asia. The bell was made from 70 sacks of gold and silver coins donated by the townsfolk. Measuring 7 feet in diameter, 5 feet in height and weighing 10,400 kilograms or just over 10 metric tons, the Panay Bell is popular among tourists visiting Capiz. During Spanish colonization the account of early Spanish explorers about Capiz and its people was traced back in 1566 when the Spaniards set foot in the mouth of Banaco River. Early settlements were seen in the town of Pan I which the town originally called Bamban, which was changed by the early Spaniards to Panay, a word which means mouth of the river. This is also the location of a fortress built by Juan de la Isla in late 1570. The Paseo de Evangelization 1566 can be found in the town plaza and was erected through the efforts of Reverend Messenger Benjamin F. Advincula. When the Spaniards led by Miguel López de Legazpi came to Panay from Cebu in 1569, after sailing from Mexico, they found people with tattoos, and so they called the island Isla de los Pintados. How the island itself came to be called Panay is uncertain. The Aita Negritos called it Aninipay, after a plant that abounded in the island. Legend has it that López de Legazpi and his men, in search of food, exclaimed upon the island, Panhay and Este Isla. There is bread in this island, and the island of Panay closely resembles the shape of a heart and the heart of Jesus Christ is considered present in the Eucharistic bread. The Spanish then came and established their first settlement on the island at the mouth of the Banaco River and called it Panay. This was the second Spanish settlement in the Philippines following San Miguel, Cebu. Unknown to many, Calle Revolution in Panay is the second oldest street in the Philippines after Calle Colon in Cebu City, Central Visayas. Later in 1569, Captain Diego de Arteida, who was sent by Legazpi, landed in the town of Panay and proclaimed it as the capital of the province. Later, the Spaniards moved the capital to its present site upon discovering the town of Capist, not the province, and now Roja City, which was near the sea and provided docking facilities. The province was created a separate encomenda and was later organized into a political military unit in 1716. The American takeover of the Philippines resulted in the establishment of a civil government in Capiz on April 15, 1901, by virtue of Act Isandaan at Labin Lima. The Panayanan's noble character and royal blood shone out in later centuries when fellow people from Panay Island, at Iloilo City was given the Queen of Spain, the royal title of most loyal and noble city, for being the most ardent and faithful city in the Spanish Empire and had clung on to Spain while the entire empire collapsed. Although Capiz joined the tagalog lead Philippine Revolution, the Spaniards didn't surrender to the Tagalogs but they did surrender to the people of Iloilo and eventually Iloilo and Capiz were part of the same Federal Republic of the Visayas, a substate which was formed within the First Philippine Republic, the first capital of which was in Cavite while the United States of America had betrayed the Philippine Revolution which they initially supported and in which influential American officers swore loyalty to by breaking their oaths and occupying Manila. On April 16, 1942, Imperial Japanese forces landed on Capiz City and occupied the rest of the province. However, on December 20, 1944, Capiz guerrillas, whose forces already occupied most of the province, liberated the capital from Japanese hands, 
leading to the full liberation of the province, Capiz and Aklan were united under one province until April 25, 1956, when President Ramon Magsaysay signed into law Republic Act 1414 separating the two entities. Capiz covers a total area of 2,594.64 square kilometers, 1,001.80 square miles occupying the northeastern portion of Panay Island, and is one of the five provinces that compose the western Visayas region, Mount Nangtug, is the highest mountain in Capiz with an elevation of 6,804 feet, dalawang libut pitumput apat na metro located in the Capiz Antique border. Other peaks are Mount Tigas 4,760 feet, isang libu apat na raan at limamput isang metro, Mount Agudo 2,736 feet, walundaan at tatlumput apat na metro. The province comprises 473 barangays, 16 municipalities and a city. Rojas City, the provincial capital, is only 45 minutes away by plane from Manila and is within the routes of major shipping lines. The Panay River used to be famous for the great number of crocodiles thriving there. Capiz is bounded by the Sibuyan Sea and the Panay, Loctagon and Ivisan Rivers. Capiz comprises one city, Rojas, and 16 municipalities, further subdivided into 473 barangays, with two congressional districts. The population of Capiz in the 2020 census was 804,952 people, with a density of 310 inhabitants per square kilometer or 800 inhabitants per square mile. Historians and ethnologists narrowed down to three types of people known to have inhabited Capiz, Atis Aitas, popularly known as Negritos, Indonesian descendants of the Mundo tribe in central Panay, and the Malays. Located in Tapas, Suludnon also known as the Tumando, Panay Bukidnon, or Panay Anon Sulud, are culturally indigenous Visayan group of people who reside in the Capiz Lambunao mountainous area and the Antique Iloilo mountain area of Panay in the Visayan islands of the Philippines. They speak the Igbuk language also known as Ligbuk or Sulud language, a member of the West Visayan subdivision of the Visayan languages within the Austronesian language family. Roman Catholicism remains influential in the lives of most people living in Capiz especially in the fields of politics, education and even in their daily personal decisions. Roman Catholics are predominant with 70% adherence. The Iglesia Filipina Independent has a strong minority with 20% while other minorities are born-again Christians, Iglesia Ni Cristo, Methodists, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Baptists, Jehovah's Witnesses, and Seventh-day Adventists among others. There are two main local languages, Capiznon and Hiligaynon, Filipino and English are also used and understood as administrative and business languages and are widely spoken as second languages. Aklanun is spoken in towns near Aklan such as Sapian, Hamindan, and Mambusao. Capiznon is concentrated in the province of Capiz in the northeast of Panay. It is a member of the Visayan language family and the people using it are part of the wider Visayan ethnolinguistic group, who constitute the largest Filipino ethnolinguistic group. It is related but often confused with Hiligaynon Ilonggo, yet it has its own unique vocabulary and accent, as well as a handful of words unique to the language itself. With its 80-kilometer coastline and wide expanse of swampy lands easily converted into fish ponds, Capiz is dubbed as the seafood capital of the Philippines. It holds one of the richest fishing grounds and is a major contributor in the aquamarine industry of the Philippines. Farming and fishing are the primary sources of income for the people. The combined natural bounty of land and sea sustain a vibrant food industry. Primary agricultural raw products are rice, corn, coconut, sugarcane, banana and cut flour. Apart from a surplus of agricultural products, Capiz is also a major supplier of prawn and milkfish bangus. Other agro-industrial harvests include blue marlin, squid, oysters, shrimp, seaweed, and angel wings. Rich fish ponds attract investors to venture into prawn culture, prawn feed manufacture, seaweed farming and the distribution and processing of other marine products. A robust workforce of 445,246 operates with a literacy rate of 92.04 na porciento. Its relatively unexplored caves are said to have high deposits of mineral resources such as limestone, gold and metal. 
There are more than 60 banking institutions and 116 intermediaries operating in the province. Some popular Capiz shell chips decorating design include gift items, indoor decoration and outdoor decoration ornaments. Capiz chip made products range from lanterns, lampshades, window pane, chandeliers, curtains, picture panels and frames, Capiz shell balls, plates, decorative bowls, candle holders, tiles, flower vase, door hanging chime, soap dish, pendant, global light, necklace decor, beads, bird cage, floor lamp holders, faux chandelier, gift boxes, collection item rack and many more. Bulad or dried fish is a major product. There are several varieties of dried fishes that can be found in Capiz. Capiz is known for its trademark product, the brilliant Capiz shell, used in windows, lanterns, decorations, vases, etc. The Capiz shell has a luster similar to mother of pearl shells. Capiz is one of the places in the Philippines that contributed a lot in Philippine folk dancing. The province alone has 19 Visayan folk dances such as Tinulabong, Gayong Gayong Timawa, Dagit Dagit, Diner Asion, Tatay Meroy Cariñosa, Pukol, Habanera Capuchena, Kabatingan, Saad, Pitik Minga, Kuratse Capuchena, and Palamite Kokitana, to name a few. South Capiz A Cultural Presentation The first Capiz dance season held every Saturday at the Capiz Provincial Park, Rojas City. Sinadja Sahalaran is a merging of the Rojas City Fiesta, Sinadja, and the province celebration of Halaran. Sinadja Sahalaran is a commemoration of the Feast of the Patroness of Rojas City, which is the Immaculate Conception and a Thanksgiving. It literally means joy in sharing and thanksgiving. Rituals and festivities include fireworks, grand parades, fluvial processions, fair and food festivals, street dancing, and exhibits. Later, the festival was renamed Sinadja sa Inmaculada Concepcion, with the dissolution of the Halaran Festival and the redirection of the city's celebration to its patron, the Immaculate Concepcion. The city of Rojas, to celebrate the organization of its government, now also celebrates Sogilanan Festival in May of every year, usually in the week leading to or after May 12, which is the charter day of the city. Pangaho Festival A Thanksgiving for a Bountiful Harvest by the Indigenous Peoples of Hamindan. Gayum Gayuman Festival, Kigiyuman, the old name of Pontevedra, meaning Ant Hill, a name distinct for ants, house was once a part of the municipality of Pan I mainly because of its abundant natural resources both from the coastal and upland areas. People from the nearby municipalities of Panay, Panitan, Maayon and President Rojas would thrive in the marketplace like swarm of ants for trading. This rich tradition is now a celebration of life and thanksgiving for all Tigumanans. Talahong Festival Talaba and Tahong is very rich in production in these areas. More than a hundred fisher folk live along the coast. Since Sapian is abundant with seafoods, it was the initiative of the local government unit to organize a Talahong Festival, Talabatahong, every second Friday and second Saturday of May that promotes the local products. Tagbuan Festival it was conceptualized during the pre-Spanish time, wherein there were itas in the upland barangay. Thank you for watching to all beautiful and amazing people all over the world, see you again to my next video upload, if you are new here in my channel please don't forget to click like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click notification bell all for more updates, I'm Maverick Cruz, saying, I love you all of you beautiful and amazing people.